In today's climate, it's really important to build a relationship between the dealership and the customer. Super Service Triage, we've designed it from the ground up with dealers in mind. Eight years ago, I walked into a dealership and saw a number of these paper-based health check sheets that the dealers were completing, but they didn't really have any record or any way of auditing how the technicians were performing. Some of the technicians would fill out the health check sheets, sometimes they wouldn't. You'd have a probably completion rates of 40, 50%. The health check tool in itself is a management aid to the dealership, so it allows them to measure the performance of the technician, the performance of the service advisor, the performance of the parts manager, and also you know, how the customers are feeling about how much money they're spending for each of the repairs on the vehicle. It also provides a really robust follow-up system so that any work that was identified that doesn't necessarily need to be done on the day can be diarised and then marked for follow-up later on. So you can guarantee that that work's going to be followed up where with any sort of paper-based system there's no real audit trail and there's no way of actually tracking or what work needs to be followed up in the future. Another great thing about Super Service Triage is the integration with Super Service Menus. Having the ability on the technician's tablet or on the service advisor's PC to price work that is VIN specific is fantastic and do it instantly is, is, is amazing. Nobody else is doing that. It speeds the process of doing a health check from 20 minutes to say 7, 8 minutes. Impact on the business has been great. The speed through the workshop has improved and the communications between departments have got a lot better. I can get all the information I need at a couple of clicks at the button. I can get the service advisors upsell rate and I can get the identified from the technicians. So on a vehicle health check, we have the concept of red work, amber work and green work. So red work is stuff that really needs to be done on the day. It's potentially dangerous work. That you don't really want to let the customer drive out of the dealership if he's got red work on his vehicle. Uh, amber work is stuff that's identified that not necessarily needs to be done today, but you need to really market for follow-up and ring the customer in the, in the future. If you identify green work on a, on a health check sheet, it really does help to build the trust because the customer feels like, okay, yeah, they've checked 20 items on my vehicle and, and one of them is an, is an issue, but there's 19 things that are absolutely fine. The system first starts with the technician. He would take his tablet, go around the vehicle and identify any work which needs to be done. When it arrives at the parts department, there is an alert. So the parts department know that they have something that they need to price up. They would then send it on to the service advisor, who again gets an alert on their screen, knowing that they've got a health check that they need to speak to the customer about. It makes our job a lot easier and obviously a lot quicker, because obviously we can go around, we do a, a visual check to begin with, put everything down on the pad, send that to the parts department, and by the time we finish the job, nine times out of 10, we've got authorization back on the pad. So you're not really back and forth to service advisors or parts departments. Everything that's been put down on the pad stays on the pad permanently. So obviously if there's any comebacks, a customer look up and say, well, I wasn't advised of that. You can look up and say, well, yeah, it was actually reported. Here it is in black and white. Obviously we have a duty of care to report all the work to our customers and show that we professionally looked after their vehicles. But also the amber work gives us an opportunity to speak to the customer later and enhance our relationship again. Providing the health check information uh, today has been really useful because running a car can be quite expensive, especially when you get um, unforeseen expenditure items. So by being sure what work was required both now and three to six months down the line was really useful. At least then I can plan for what money might be going out, especially when you know, finances are tight in this current climate. We can measure the performance of each of your technicians and each of your service advisors. And if they know they're being measured, inevitably they, they up their game. Inevitably, you'll, your technicians will identify more work and your service advisors will sell more work. And we can work with them and identify training requirements for each of those individuals to maximize the profit on each vehicle that comes through the workshop. And in a typical dealership, we see on average 50 to 100% improvement on the work identified and the work sold per car. When you times that out over the number of vehicles that come through a workshop each month, I mean, it's a huge amount of money. The system pays for itself within, within a week. Since we've been using this technology, our conversion rates have greatly improved. Before, and we had no way of measuring them, and now we have a very accurate way of measuring them.